Hi students, so today in this video, I'm gonna be explaining a little bit about our matrix bands. A matrix band or some form of matrices system is going to be used to re be replacing the missing wall of a tooth. For posterior teeth, we use a Toffelmeyer retainer in a matrix band, as long as a wood wedge, whereas with an anterior tooth, if we were replacing the missing wall of a tooth for a procedure or filling, we would use this thin clear strip that is called a mylar strip. In this example today, I'm going to be pretending that we're doing a filling on the DO of tooth number 13. This here is our Toffelmeyer retainer. Our Toffelmeyer retainer has a few different parts that I'm gonna explain. This here is our outer knob. This is going to control and help lock in our matrix band into place into our Toffelmeyer. This one here, the bigger one, is our inner knob. What this does is it's gonna drop this diagonal slot down the spindle to help tighten it around the tooth. This here is our diagonal slot. This here is our outer slot. It looks like a U shape. You'll see that there's openings on the left side as well as the right side of this outer slot. That is because when we place our matrix band through the diagonal slot, we want it to either come out of the right side or left side of this U shape, and that's gonna be dependent on which type of tooth we're working on. So if it is a upper right or a lower left, we will want our matrix band to go through this diagonal slot and out to the right side of our outer slot. If we are working on the upper left and the lower right, then we will want our matrix band to go through the diagonal slot and out to the left side of our outer slot. As a personal preference, I always like to start with my Toffelmeyer retainer looking like this. So I always want my diagonal slot all the way up at the top next to this U shape here. And I want just a little bit of room in between my inner knob and my outer knob. Now we're gonna get into the assembly of our matrix band. So this is our matrix band here. You will see that it has like almost like a V shape and that's what we want. We don't want it to look like it's an arrow pointing up. We want it to look like it's a very wide V. So with that, I'm going to pinch the tail ends of my matrix band and I'm going to fold it in towards myself. Once I have the tail ends pinched in one hand, you will see that there is a smaller circumference, which is the top one from how I folded it. And then if I flip it over, there is a larger circumference. This larger circumference side, we want to be facing the crown of the tooth, whereas this smaller circumference side, we want to be facing the gingiva towards the gums. Now that I have the tail ends pinched, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the tail ends of this matrix band through the diagonal slot here that is on my Toffelmeyer retainer. Because I'm doing a number 13 DO, I obviously am going to be working on the upper left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that my matrix band is going out to the left side of this U shape here. I want to leave a little tail end sticking out of my diagonal slot so that way when I twist my outer knob, which is the smaller one, I turn it to the right, it's going to move this spindle up and lock my matrix band into place. So I'm gonna keep twisting, twisting, and then I'm going to pull on it just a little bit and you will see that it's nice and tight in there. So once again, I'm doing a number 13 DO, so with my type it on, just so it's easier for you guys to see, I'm going to go ahead and open it and flip it around. Now that I have my matrix band and Toffelmeyer assembled properly, this U shape here, the outer slot, I always want to face towards the gums. Once again, I'm doing this because the way that I put the matrix band in, the smaller circumference side is facing up, which goes towards the gingiva. So if I were to place it like this, then my small side would not be facing the gingiva, it'd be facing the tip of my crown. So I wanna make sure that it's down like this. My U shape is facing the gingiva. My smaller circumference of my matrix bands is gonna go towards the gums. And you also know this is proper placement because once this is around the tooth, my Toffelmeyer will be coming out of the patient's mouth and towards the midline versus going towards the back of the mouth. Now that I have my matrix band around my tooth, I wanna make sure it's nice and snug so that way if I let it go, it stands up on its own. So I've pushed my finger down to make sure it's tight. What I like to do is this inner knob here, 
the bigger one. I'm going to turn to the right, but you'll see that this diagonal slot begins to drop down on my spindle. What that does is that's tightening around my tooth. Once it's nice and tight around my tooth, I'll be able to let go of it and it stands up on its own and it's nice and secured all around my tooth here. These here are my wood wedges. In this case, these are plastic. There are a bunch of different kinds. But these wood wedges are going to go on whichever wall of the tooth is missing. So in this example, I have a DO. So one of these wood wedges will be placed on the distal wall. If I was doing an MOD, our mesial wall would be missing and our distal wall would be missing. So then I would need two of these. One would go on the mesial wall, one would go on the distal wall. But what I like to do with my cotton pliers is pinch the end or the flat side of my wood wedge. That way the pointy side is going to go through my distal wall here. It's always going to be placed from the lingual side and once again is going to be placed on whatever wall of the tooth is missing. So I like to push in as far as I can with my cotton pliers and then I'll flip to use the back of it to help me secure it into position more. To remove a matrix band, what I'm gonna do is with my cotton pliers, I'm going to pull this wood wedge out and set it down. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that I don't have any pieces of my wood wedge still left over. Once I check that I'm good and clear, with my inner knob, which is this big one, I'm going to twist it to the left. What that's gonna do is it's going to bring my diagonal slot back up towards the top which is going to loosen how tightly this matrix band is around the tooth. Once I get it to a point where it's loose enough, I can just wiggle it off and now it is disassembled.